let's say you have an installation with network equipment, so network security equipment. You have an IP camera, you maybe have a video intercom there, access control, and you wanna add something. So scale up your security solution. The best way to do this without having the hassle of doing a whole new installation is by using PoE extenders. So the way it works is that PoE extenders will help you do the connection from a, a, an installation that you already have. So let's say we take the CAT5 cable from the IP camera, we put it in the input of the PoE extender, and then we can, can connect four more equipment through it. So again, facilitate the installation all around. You don't need a PoE switch. So it's really good if you don't have any kind of power outlets near your installation. Let's say you're working on a farm or maybe on a roof and you want to do this installation. Well, this is the perfect solution. Not only that, but if you need a wider range for your connection, normally if you're using an NVR through your IP connection, it will reach 100 meters. But if you're using this, well, it doubles that, so you can have 200 meters installation. So now you kind of know what a PoE extender is, but we're gonna talk a little bit further how it works and do the connection to show you how to do it yourself. Let's get to it. So today we're looking at PoE extenders, I mentioned, and this is to simplify your installation. This is from GSD Group. So they gave us those samples to show you how they work exactly. First off, I wanted to talk about PoE power, so the power over Ethernet, and how it works normally. So what's the difference if you're using a PoE extender and a PoE switch? So it all comes to the protocol, so the IEEE I -E 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 standard, and to kind of summarize it, it's about the power output. So what kind of power comes from your PoE switch or your PoE extender and goes to your IP device. So the way it works is you have PoE, which normally, if you're looking at this one, you have two ports, and each port gives a 15.4 watts to your IP devices. So that's what we call PoE. So this standard is this amount of power. If we're talking about PoE+, Plus, well, it's the range of more 30 watts. So this way you can connect PTZ cameras that require more energy to be connected. And if we're talking PoE++, Plus, Plus, like this one, it's 90 watts. So it's, it's, the range is uh, 60 watts to 100 watts. This device from GSD Group is 90 watts. That means that you can connect up to three uh, PTZ cameras using this one. So again, really nice solution because with only one cable, so reusing a cable that is already installed and going into the PoE input, you can connect four more cameras to the output and again, it splits the power. So that's something to keep in mind. So it's 90 watts. So if you're using three PTZs, you're gonna use three ports, but you can use all four parts if you're using regular cameras, for example, or if you're using a video anchor com and all uh, other security equipment, just make sure to look at the data sheet to not exceed the power limitation of your PoE extender. Now, we're gonna do a quick demo to show you exactly how the connection work. So now we're using an NVR from GSD Group that already has a PoE switch integrated, but this would work the same way if you're using an external PoE switch with a, uh, an NVR. So first step is giving power to your NVR. So the way to do this is taking a CAT5 cable or a CAT6 cable, and you plug in the LAN part to the internet of uh, your building there. So this will give the first power to the NVR. From there, you connect another CAT5 cable inside the PoE switch, and this is the one that will go inside the PoE extender. So you take the PoE extender, as I mentioned before, you have the PoE input right there. You take your CAT5 cable that is right now on the port number one of your NVR, and you connect it. So as you can see, the lights turn on, that means that power comes through your PoE extender. And now, well, I have multiple cameras on the table. We're gonna power three cameras that have different power outputs. And it's as easy as this. So one Cat5, put it in the extender, and you have the lights coming up. And we're gonna do this two more times. So one, and two, and there you have it. 
So with one cable, we're powering up three different cameras and you will see that the cameras will come alive on the screen right next to me. Again, this is not to increase the number of channels on your NVR, it's to power up the cameras or give them a longer range distance from the NVR. So it's really useful when you're working on uh, places where there's not many power outlets. And again, uh, using this, you can power up not only cameras, but any kind of IP security solution. So this is how PoE works. It's power over ethernet. It's a way to power up your devices rather than using a 12 volt DC output. Now, keep in mind that it takes some time for the camera to connect, but it's the same way when you connect them directly to your NVR. It's a matter of powering them up. So you wait a couple of minutes and all the cameras will appear on your screen. Oh, here they are. So as you see, simple installation. Everybody can do this. So these POA extenders are available on the GSD Group website. I think this solution will become more and more popular because you can reuse your IP cables directly from a previous installation instead of having to rewire through the walls and everything. So it simplifies the installation, it saves you time, and it gets the job done. If you're interested in simplifying your installation and you want to get your hands on the PoE extender, so either the PoE extender two ports or the four port that is a PoE++, you can go on the GSD Group website, so it's gsdgroup.ca. They are an international security manufacturer that work with dealers, professional installers, so you will get all your information on their website. All right, guys, see you on the next one.